Jenny Paris Horizontal. Jenny Paris Zahir. Or what you know in Arab in our region. Jenny Paris Horizontal is a beautiful plant material. And it's a plant material where it is a shrub. Usually it's used as a ground cover. And it has an outstanding aroma. It's an aromatic plant material. And one of the most important plants in ground covers. It's a coniferous plant, a inepte. Iberia, and usually it has a multi trunk system at the bottom and it is horizontal and there are two kinds of these things or three kinds Juniperus horizontalis plumbago, plumbago which is a, a bluish type there is another one which is usually it's a silvery green and there is a bluish green and there is nice kind of a different kind of species where it is completely either blue or a combination of a yellow green together and usually if you want to plant it you should plant it in clumps and it, it, sometimes there are some diebacks. You find some diebacks in certain parts of the Juniperus horizontalis. But this juniper or the arar, no من أنواع الإبريات. والإبريات في منطقتنا تعيش في المنطقة الشمالية والوسطى والجبلية. والجميل في هذه النبتة أنها تستخدم كغطاء. نباتي غطاء أرضي كغطاء نباتي أرضي بheavy use of plant material في منطقتنا زي ما حكيت لكم جونيبرس هوريزنتالس إبرية الشكل والآن بدنا نبلش نعمل strokes and usually you will have the strokes at the top of the end وهيك بتبين معنا كأنها شجيرة دائمة الاخضرار تطلع لحوالي نص متر ممكن أن تصل متر وأيضا سبريد تبع حوالي تسعين سنتي إلى متر ونص حسب استعمالاتك أو حسب ما بتحطها في أماكن أو إذا بتقلمها بتتحمل البرونينج بس أنا لا أفضل البرونينج of this plant لأنه هذه نباتات يجب أن لا ينعمل إلها برونينج لأنه البرونينج بأخذ من الشيب تبعها خصوصا هذه الأطراف المترامية على يمين وشمال النبت هذا النبات بتحمل التربة المالحة أيضا الكراين سويل لكن ممكن أن يعيش في أسد سويل فإذا هي تاني نبت اليوم بناخذها ممكن أن تكون بالكراين وزي ما أنتم شايفين بنحاول كل جهدنا أنه الآن قبل ما نلونها أنه نعطيها تكستشر as a plant بالرصاص هيك بنقدر احنا نتحكم جزئيا بإظهار النبتة بشكلها اللائق فيها وهي في العادة نبات دائم اخضرار يستعمل كهج يستعمل كمكان هذا ممكن تخلطه مع السايد السايكاد as a combination plant وممكن أمامه يكون لافندر أو حصلبان حسب الألوان إذا استعملت بلومباغو which is the blue one you could use Rosemary and lavender in front of it. Bati good color of a bluish touch. If you if you are interested in coming up with a bluish architectural image. أنا الآن إذا بتلاحظوا بخلط بالألوان الرصاص. هلا بستعمل H B. قبل شوي كنت استعمل two B. Sorry two B. الآن بس أو H B. لكن الآن أنا بستعمل a combination number two HB هذا شوية بعطي texture لما أجي على trunk لاحظوا trunk كيف بحاول أعطي غمق dark system strokes strokes زي ما أنتوا شايفين بحاول كل جهدي 
أبين النبتة بهذه الطريقة This is the way I do my plantation زملائي وزميلاتي وطلابنا الأحبة الآن في جائحة الكورونا During this process of the coronavirus uh, What I'm doing I gave a lot of series of lectures about plant materials How to do plants How to do uh, elevations uh, How to do a design process starting from A to zero When you are uh, from, Z, uh, from A to Z Concerning how I design within the landscape Usually landscape it's an image here I put one or two rocks. It's an image where you build your vocabulary by painting. Build your vocabulary by uh, continuous uh, understanding of your profession. How you understand your profession, read, look, uh, check out the people who did what. And mostly uh, uh, I spend a lot of time opening the books and double checking what architects have done or uh, have not done actually but mostly I found out that a lot of people sharing some of the ideas that I'm doing trying to come up with something to freshen up our mental capability uh, usually usually uh, plant material like the fauna and the flora, these kinds of studies, when you start reading the landscapes and reading what God created for us, it enriches your scientific background, it enriches your mind, it enriches your soul, as well as uh, you surviving uh, hostile times during this, uh, what do you call it, the corona crisis. And I think this will go up and it will fade soon. So I'm not that worried that much, but you can cut time and the time you spend in your home reading the landscapes and reading life in general. Listen to music, understand uh, what, 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 what's around you. Uh, try to plant some plants in your garden. All what you can do is really spend time with yourself understanding the value of life. This is quickly what I'm doing with uh, this plant, the Juniperus horizontalis. If the Juniper is on the ground, it's a very difficult thing to do. 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 كل جي... كل انواع الاسمده اذا ضفتها في بكر مبكر من الربيع يعني بشهر ثلاثه تقريبا دو بس ما بتحتاج لكثير من الاسمده الان uh, I want to start drawing and painting this زي ما حكيت لكم I will use the color which is the color that I am really The, uh, the, uh, the color of the blue, uh, green, uh, green, bluish, uh, green, sorry, yellow, green. And here I start with the strokes of this edge. Dark as we go. I'll get the yellow green shade which comes up nice with the image of this plant. Plant material is important to read carefully. Understand the value of a plant material is a key element to any architect if you want to have a successful uh, work. So now I am painting it.
strokes, 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 dark at the edge. Use the yellow green, bring it up to the middle. Then I start seeing my plant. Um, the ones that you see in the far end, you try yourself to give it a little bit of a, a darker green. So you will see the depth of this plant. Again. Uh, don't worry sometimes if it goes over the pencil or you made a mistake and you think you are uh, um, overdoing it. Don't worry about it. Plants could tolerate watercolors and I like to do it more than because I am not a painter. Mostly I'm an architect, landscape architect who would like to know his plants prior to any uh, story of designing or finishing any design work. Now I will end up with doing more yellow strokes here and there and then I start seeing the shape of my plant and uh, when you do irrigation these plants sometimes uh, I, I put pop-ups which means if the water gets into them you start having the aroma, especially if you have it in the afternoon or early in the morning and you walk, you will have like a smell of this coniferous plant moving into the space in your garden. And uh, most uh, uh, architects, they like to, or landscape architects, they like to have this effect wherever uh, they have the chance to do or wherever they are doing some landscape uh, designs. Plant material. Again, why plant material? You know that 80% uh, of our medicine comes from plant materials. You read your plant materials. Once you read the plant materials, remember, plant materials is an element of uh, for scientists and for uh, um, uh, medical uh, reasons they are uh, actually having even this the accent colors that you see spraying your house with the pines or uh, the coniferous trees of the caprices actually it comes out from these kind of plant materials now here I am finishing up my plant now I want to go and do my uh, trunk and I will do the trunk with this. Uh, I'll mix the brown with the black. I'll make it dark under the shrub. And then when I go down, I start adding more woody color for the trunk just to give it some texture because this has a woody color uh, of brownish uh, 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 trunk that touches the ground. So it's easy to do that and to finalize it. Now I come to the ground. I love my ground, I'll mix my ground with a touch of, not a fully green, but look at that, now it's starting. Put 
put my rugs. Touches of grass. This way. I am ending up. Or try to. End up my. Juniper plant. As such. Juniperus. Horizontalis, which is a creeping juniper, responds favorably to an annual application of fertilizer in early spring, but does not need too much uh, to grow reasonably well, available in several species in the market. Of course, there are other ones we'll talk about, Juniperus chinensis, Peftizana, you have a Peftizar juniper, you have Juniperus procumpens, which is uh, a smaller one, a dwarf, Juniper, which I like, it looks like a ground cover. It's called Juniper Sabina uh, uh, Tamaris Cupolia, which is a Juniper Sabina. There is a lot of plant materials that you can handle, and you can start understanding the value of plant materials. I believe with this we can conclude this plant. me add a little bit of white because I want the colors to blend into each other I don't want it to be almost like it is Because it's the far end, needs to be a little bit darker. Juniperus peptizana. We come back to the same old story. Put down the name of the plant material. Draw it well. You don't go wrong. And here I will outline my the name of the plant, scientific name, common name, and the person who draws this. Here we go. And now I will say this capital Johnny Piras. Horizontalis Creeping Juniper Juniper Zahif Bil Arabi and my name Kamil Omahadeen you write down your name, documentation, we keep, and the date, which is 23, I believe, May, Corona year, and I hope it trades out bad. This is Juniperus Horizontalis. Thank you.